Sampling is cool, but sampling too fast is wasteful. So what if you sample slower? Well, it starts going well, but then all of a sudden your reconstructed signal looks whack. This is called aliasing. You should try to avoid it. Aliasing happens when the sampling theorem isn't satisfied. If you sample too slow, your signal can start looking like another one with lower frequency, and it turns out there are an infinite number of signals that will look the same when sampled at a particular rate. Mathematically, if you add any integer multiple of the sample frequency to your sampled signal's frequency, you can reduce the whole equation to the same signal you started with. The set of all these signals that sample to the same signal are called aliases. In the frequency domain, aliasing can be seen when your signal has so much width that it starts overlapping with its clones created from convolving with the impulse train. This overlapping is called folding, which occurs when your input signal frequency is between half the sample frequency and the sample frequency, causing the negative frequencies of the first clone to be between zero and half the sample frequency. And this is all a fancy way of saying that you are inverse DTFTing a different signal than the one you started with. If you know the frequency of your signal, just satisfy the sampling theorem. If you can't satisfy the theorem, or don't know the frequency of your signal, you can first apply a low-pass filter to the signal before sampling, which makes the aliasing less prominent. This is one of the main techniques used for anti-aliasing, which you've probably heard of if you're into image processing. When making an image smaller, you can first low-pass it to remove a lot of sharp edges, which correspond to higher frequencies, and then downsample to get a more average image. Take this signal, whose DTFT looks like this. Now sample it with a sample frequency of 2 Hz, and filter it with a cutoff frequency of half that. You can see that the filtered portion inverse DTFTs back to cosine of pi n and not cosine of 3 pi n. Now instead sample at 4 Hz, which satisfies the sampling theorem. And now we get back the original signal.